okay? If they pick a Z receiver, it's going to be Aaron Dobson out of Marshall. The New England Patriots select Aaron Dobson, wide receiver, Marshall. Jimmy Garoppolo. Oh, wow! <laughs> what does that mean, Maz? Is that good or is that bad? Oh, I heard rumors about him. What kind of rumors? That he was, uh, he, was in, he was on their radar. With the 67th pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, your New England and my New England Patriots select Jimmy Garoppolo. Trey Flowers out of Arkansas. Number 101 overall, the New England Patriots select Trey Flowers. God! Cyrus Jones from Alabama. Oh, Nick Saban connection. It's projected as a fourth-round pick. With the 60th selection, the New England Patriots select Cyrus Jones. Jacoby Brissett. Oh, God. North Carolina State projects as a fourth-round pick. If, he's, if his name is Jacoby, he's soft. That guy has no shot. The New England Patriots <laughs> here at number 91, <laughs> Jacoby Brissett, the quarterback. Isaiah Wynn from Georgia. With the 23rd pick, the New England Patriots select Isaiah Wynn, tackle, Georgia. Uh, Hakeel Harry? <laughs> oh, uh, Nikhil Harry. Nikhil? The New England Patriots select Nikhil Harry, wide receiver, Arizona State. Joe Juwan. J-O-E-J-U-A-N. Joe Juwan Williams from Vanderbilt. I think it's Jawan. It looks like it's Joe Jawan. The champs select Jawan Williams, DB, Vanderbilt. It's the Felger and Maz big board. The board knows, as Maz likes to say, we've given you nine correct selections in the last eight years. We have hit at least one drafted player every single year since we started doing this in 2012. The only year we did it was 2017 when they only took four freaking players. And in fact, we did pick an offensive lineman that they were just about to pick before he was, or they were trading up for, and they just missed out. I think a guard from Indiana. But anyway, we've given you the right selections almost every single year, nine and eight years, and we're back at it again this year. We're shooting for centers. Maz is going to take over and do it out at his palatial suburban estate. Maz, what do we got cooking out there? Okay, so here we are. I am now, uh, you can see me standing in my home office here. I put a little big board up on the uh, sliding door here <laughs> with the magazine that you handed me yesterday. I have a bunch of different colored markers that I will be firing at the big board. We're going to take three shots, right? Okay, three shots, baby. Okay, and I just want to be clarify that there really aren't that many centers available in the draft. So you'll notice that on the big board, there are uh, eight guys that are spotlighted, and then on the bottom right, there is a list of players there that uh, include the top eight, but I'm going to take one from the bottom group of that uh, that chart on the right, so that we get, uh, you know, we get a little bit of a wild card pick there. I'm just going to throw markers. We're going to throw all three. Then I'm going to go over and I'm going to tell you which ones we got. Your wife, okay. know, your wife know you're doing this? My wife does not know that I'm throwing <laughs> magic markers, Mark. Uh, you know, I thought about tomatoes, but we all know that didn't work particularly well when we did it at our studio in Brighton. Uh, or maybe that was, I don't remember if that was there at the garden studio, but there were tomato seeds all over the place. <laughs> so uh, in this case, we're just going to go with the ink and uh, hope it doesn't destroy anything, including the carpet. Okay? So <laughs> here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step out of the scene here just a little. You'll see I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just jump right out just to make it a longer throw. So and that folks, you know. Uh, yeah, if you're listening on a podcast or on the radio, it, this is a two-camera shoot. Maz has two cameras dialed in here, so we have a close-up of the board to see the markers hit the board. So I, it is impressive technology, Maz. Oh, yeah, no, no, we went hardcore here. There's no two ways about it. So just sit tight. I'm going to step back now. Okay, I am going to throw the first marker at the board. Okay. That that hit top left, in case you saw. Uh, I don't know if it left a mark because it hit on the black part, but that would be Nick Harris, who is the number one center available in this draft. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Nick Harris is, uh, I don't think you're going to get him, but anyway, here's number two. Whoops, I hit Harris again, so let's go to the guy underneath him. <laughs> See that blue mark in the top left? Unless you want that to count as number one, you want me to throw again. You tell me. Throw again. Okay, here we go. We'll aim for the page. Uh, Okay, hit the guy's face there, Jake Hansen. Okay. Jake Hansen is your second pick, and we're going to go for that bottom right part of the board right now with all the other names on it. Whoops, too high. Hold on. Is that your dog on a pillow? <laughs> uh, it's a picture of the dog. Yeah, yeah hold on. <laughs> okay, there we go. Take number nine on the list on the bottom. That is uh, Luke Jariga from Western Michigan. Okay, so 
Tell me your second guy again, please. Jake Hansen. Jake Hansen is the second guy. Jake Hansen is the second guy. He's number eight. Okay. Jake Hansen is the second guy. And the third guy is sort of way off the board. Give me his name again. He is. Uh, hold on. Let me go get it. <laughs> yeah, I forget that one already. It was Nick Harris, Jake Hansen, that third guy. Maz is uh, trying to look at find out on the magazine. Who was it, Maz? Luke Jerigo, Western Michigan. Okay, I don't think I'm going to have a write-up on Luke Jerigo. <laughs> but here we go. <laughs> Probably just as well. Let's go to the scouting reports, please. Uh, Nick Harris, strong points. Uh, well, he's 6'1", 295 uh, out of Washington. He's the number one pick on the board according to... Uh, Athlon Sports, according to my other draft magazine, Lindy's Sports, he's the fifth prospect. So maybe he's not a consensus guy, Maz. His strong points. Harris is a bit undersized, but he makes up for it with outstanding movement skills. Ooh. Uh -huh. his, his snap and step quickness is excellent. And he has the ability to cross the nose tackle's face and wall him off on reach blocks. His lower center of gravity allows him to play with natural leverage and balance when on the move. He has the range to get out in front of sc the screen game or hit targets consistently on outside zone runs. Active hands and nonstop motor allow him to play a little bigger than his listed height. In pass protection, he has the ability to handle quickness uh, with the nimble feet to recover. I had active hands in my late teens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, his hey, look, weak Bedard complained about an absence of athleticism on the line after they lost the Andrews. It feels to me like this guy can move. Okay, the, the, these weak points, Maz, maybe you can relate to. The short squat body type is not correctable. Yep. <laughs> and there's no getting around the fact that Harris will have issues against massive nose tackles with his frame. He's going to get swallowed up at times, and he'll struggle at the point of attack when opponents put nose tackles right over him. He too often gave up ground to power rushers at the collegiate level, a concern as he makes the jump to the NFL. I mean, well, they could fatten him up like he's a baby calf. That won't take much. But 6'1 seems small for a center. I yeah, agree. 6'1, 295 for crying out loud. So this, you know, again, even though he's the number one center on the board, Maz, according to Athlon, he's projected as a second or third round pick. So maybe he is available to you. Okay, how about Jake Hansen? Jake Hansen, another Oregon guy. Okay, we've had a few Oregon guys here, it feels like. Uh, he's 6'5, 300 at the center position. He, uh, his strong points, Hansen is a heady technician who consistently outplays his measurables. He flashes quick, strong hands and good coordination between his upper and lower body when he's working in pass protection. He also shows the ability to battle more effectively in a phone booth than you might expect. Uh, often, very important. Sta often stalemating bigger, more powerful defensive linemen. He shows an excellent feel for angles when moving to the second level, and he plays with good balance on the move. He'll be able to get protection set up at the next level. That thing about working in a phone booth is big for these centers. They're in a phone there, booth. There, there's your guy right there, if you ask me. Okay. Uh, weak points. Uh, dealing with quickness up front is potentially a big issue at the next level, as Hansen doesn't have particularly nimble feet, nor the length to recover if he's beaten early in the down. He doesn't have the length. He's 6'5". Right. <laughs> uh, he doesn't show great range in the run game. and isn't Maybe a great they don't mean his arms. Right, in the pants. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, he doesn't show great range in the run game and isn't a great fit for a team that uses a lot of wide zone. Uh, and while he battled well at the collegiate level, have, he'll have to prove he can handle the grown men in similar situations. He's uh, projected here in the sixth to seventh round. Well, they got a ton of picks there. I mean, it's, it feels to me like that would be the area they take a guy like that. So there it is. They're, they're your center options. I'll tell you, as you go over the years here, the Felgram has big board. We haven't done particularly well at the guard or center position. We haven't really had, unless you consider Isaiah Wynn. You know, I guess he's tackle at the NFL. He was listed as a guard when he came out. But we haven't had many of these guys. Seems to be a, a, a little bit of a slump there for the big board at these positions. Maybe we can break out of it this year. Nick Harris at center. Jake Hansen from Oregon put him on the board. And the third one again, Maz, you're just going to have to give it to me one more time. because I can't. Jeriga from Western Michigan. J U. Okay. R I G A. That you have to do on uh, your own time or read uh, Bedard in the Boston Sports Journal for a, a write up on that fella. Put those guys on the board. That's the Felger and Maz big board.
Coming up next, you want to weigh in on that, any of these draft items, the immediate needs at the draft as we hit on before. We'll follow up uh, on Tom Brady and his Players' Tribune story from yesterday. Uh, we'll get to all that right after these words. First, Murray, though, with reaction from Chris Sale, who spoke today on getting that Tommy John surgery in the middle of the pandemic. You'll hear that, and we'll come back right after that. Sports Hub Headline.